at you and this is what they say they tell me say a word sir say a word sir say a word sir well uh, I'm just wondering can I get somebody to tell me The Bible says in that same book of Kings, six verse, it says, For he claimed to the Lord and departed not from following him. Look at your neighbor, say, Neighbor, if you're committed, you got to cleave to the Lord and don't let go. Touch somebody, say, Hold on, you're not the only one. That's ever been lied on. Hold on. You're not the only one that's ever been broke. Hold on. You're not the only one that they've nailed your name on the billboards of scandal. But hold on. Friends forsake you. Yeah. Yes. But hold on. Family misunderstand you. But hold on people walk out of your life but hold on being in the midst of a trial but hold on you don't know who you're sitting next to so help me preach to them tell them neighbor you're not by yourself but I say unto you this is our new year and we're gonna have a good year this shall be Come on, prophesy. This shall be. Come on, prophesy to him. Tell him, I don't care what you went through last year. This year shall be a good year. Look at your neighbor and say, how you know it's going to be a good year? Tell them, because I'm going to meet the requirements. Look at them and say, I'm going to meet the requirements. What is God requiring of you? The same thing required of Hezekiah. He told Hezekiah, you're going to have to read this on your time, not my time. He told Hezekiah, he said, go. You got two projects. You got two campaigns. One is worship. The second is war. If you study Chronicles 29, you pick up on his first campaign. It was restoring worship among the people of God. They had gone into a backslidden state. They had closed the doors of the church. They had shut their Bibles and put out the incense. You don't hear me. Look at us today. People don't hardly want to go to church. Y'all come here on Sunday morning, but we can't find you during the week with a flashlight. Look at your neighbor. Ask them, do you do weeknights? Look at them in the face. Tell them, don't you lie to me. You in church. Do you do weeknights? Yes, we have gotten to a place where a little dab will do us. But if I were you, I'd seek the Lord while he may be found. And I'd call on him while he's near. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. If the drunkard can be happy about going to the bar, if the drug addict can be glad about going, y'all don't hear me, every night to the pusher's house, yeah, if the sports enthusiast can go to the stadium as many times a week as there is a game, then the saints of God ought to enter into his courts with praise to his gates with thanksgiving you ought to clap your hands in the sanctuary and bless the lord 
bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, praise his holy name. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, when you see me praising God, look at him say, I ain't playing and I ain't putting on. Look at him say, I've got a testimony. I've got a testimony. I've got Yeah, yeah, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Look at your neighbor in the face and say, neighbor, I'm closing with this. Say, neighbor, you're looking at me now. Shake your head, say, you're looking at me now. But you just don't know what I've been through to get where I am. I've been cried tired, I've been weary, I've been hurt, I've been wounded, I've been lied on, but I've made up in my mind that I'm going to serve the Lord, I'm going to hold out, I'm going to wait on God, say I Closing bishop, but will you just grab somebody by the hand? And if it's a girl, say girlfriend. Now don't call no man that. But if you're standing next to somebody, say neighbor. Yeah, you're not the only one that's been hurt by church folk. Tell them I'm better than me. The wounds and the scars. Mm -hmm. Tell them, but that's all right. That's all right. Tell him it was good for me that I had been afflicted because I learned how to trust in God. I learned how not to put my trust in flesh, but to trust God. When they said you wasn't gonna make it, you made it. When they said you'd amount to nothing, you become the greatest because if God be for you, you stay committed the best is yet to come say yeah.